So the next research that we did was to answer what I think is probably one of the more interesting questions, and that is, is there an interaction between cannabinoids and opioids uh, in pain relief? So we took a group of uh, patients who were taking a stable dose of either long-acting oxycodone or long-acting morphine, and we measured the level of the 12-hour release drug in their bloodstream before and then after five days of vaporizing cannabis three times a day. And what we found there was, interestingly, that the plasma levels of the opioids, either oxycodone or morphine, were actually decreased in the patients after exposure to the cannabis. But their pain relief was increased. So that's somewhat paradoxical, but my colleague, uh, who's a pharmacologist, says that what we're seeing then is a so-called pharma pharmacodynamic effect as opposed to a pharmacokinetic effect. If the cannabis had boosted the plasma levels of the opioids and led to decrease in pain, that would have been a pharmacokinetic effect. But instead, in, by some other mechanism, uh, the cannabinoids allowed for more pain relief at lower plasma levels. So what does this mean? I mean, it means that for people who have pain, who are on opioids, uh, they may be able to take lower dosages or the same dose for a longer period of time, and they may have actually decreased side effects because, as you know, opioid side effects include nausea, which cannabis can help, constipation, many people think cannabis also helps constipation. For me, I think one of, the, one of the tricky parts about this is that I'm aware that in some of the government hospitals, the VA hospitals, for example, or other military uh, facilities, uh, patients who are on chronic opioids have to have a negative urine cannabis test before they can get their drugs, and that seems a little short-sighted because people may actually be boosting the effect of their pain medicine by using uh, cannabinoids in conjunction.